they're gonna find out soon enough. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Jason Radcliffe fought the Nawabs in this light heavyweight contest against Rangi Sumitrangi for the Warriors. Both fighters made in approximately the same way. Huge experience advantage in the corner of Radcliffe. Radcliffe, the veteran, against Sumit Rangi, the veteran boxer. Let's see who strikes first. Speaking of striking, Jason Radcliffe trains out of Tiger Muay Thai, which is one of the best striking gyms and MMA gyms in the world. And that's not too far from here. So he's acclimated to this climate, to this time zone, and he's had some time to rejuvenate himself. And he's, he thinks he's going to have a dominant performance here tonight, but we've got a lot of respect shown by both fighters thus far. You know what? I can see Rangi with that right hand cocked and that left hook to catch him coming in. Jason, though, staying smart. He's not overcommitting. He's trying to gauge his movement and distance before he looks to another, change levels. Another thing that Ranji's doing is he's leaving his hands down, inviting in strikes from Radcliffe so he can counter over the top. This is a very seasoned boxing uh, position, or excuse me, move that Ranji is using right now. And he's got fast counters and good vision to catch his opponent coming in. You know what, that was a big kick to the body. And you know what? Even though he took it on the arm, those arms are going to get hurt soon. Rangi coming in with that straight right, though. Good job by Jason Radcliffe to move out of danger. Radcliffe's shown a lot of respect for the hands of Rangi, but I have a feeling as soon as Rangi opens up, he's going to try to change levels and come underneath for oh, a Oh, I guarantee down. that. I guarantee that the minute Rangi opens up with a one-two combination, Radcliffe is going to put him on his butt. But Radcliffe's staying smart here. He's not committing. He's trying to feel him out. It's been a minute and a half in this fight, and I think a total of two strikes have been thrown. He's got a really low stance, too, right now, which will allow him to change levels even quicker. It also allows him to move forward and back for, uh, forward and backwards with a lot more explosiveness, and that's some of that Tiger Muay Thai training that he's been having under his belt. A very nice outside leg kick. That will chop him down soon. Man, those he things are nasty. Up. But you know what? Look at that jab around. He comes over the top with the right hand. Good defense by Radcliffe so far. Those leg kicks are so nasty, especially, again, coming from a gym like Tiger Muay Thai. Staying flat-footed is Rangi here, trying to get... But you know what? He's taking the center of the cage right now. There we go. There's this that kick Rangi knew that was going to happen. There we go. Rangi's looking for a potential guillotine from here. He's, He's just holding onto the head desperately right now. He's not in position to get that oh, submission. No, no. It allows Radcliffe to slide over right into side control. Does he have it, does he have it perfect? Because he's... No, I bet it's loose. There you go. Now we've got Radcliffe inside control in dominant position. Shall we start the clock? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, with somebody as powerful and as skilled as Jason Radcliffe. Oh, there you go. There's you the tap that. already. He's not even wanting to play around with the skill and the power of the savage who is just on top of him. He's smart. He's smart. Absolutely. It is only a matter of time. Ladies and gentlemen, that cinches it. The Yuki Nawabs have taken the top slot in the semi-final. What a dominant performance throughout the night. Started off with their captain getting 
his job done in fantastic fashion. And then Jason Radcliffe coming out here and dominating for him and getting his opponent to tap to strike. That's two fights in a row where Ronzi has tapped to strike. Actually, uh, the, if you've just been corrected, that will count as a TKO, not a submission. So that brings the total 20 to six. He must have called a stop before the tapping started because yeah, we probably, certainly yeah. saw some tapping, but it doesn't matter. Either way, the UT, UP Nevobs came out here in dominant fashion. But tonight. you know what the fun will be now to see? You, you know what the fun will be though? If you can see, if, if you can see the points table because right now I think 20 to six, will the UP Nevobs go up, up the ladder, straight up to the top? Or will they maintain that slot? Yeah, we'll have to see what the point differential is. But either way, Jason Radcliffe feeling great about finally getting back in the winner's column. Here we go to the results. Let's go inside the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, Ref Allen called the stop of the fight in the first round in 2 minutes and 44 seconds. Declaring the winner by D.